What is cracking, guys? Crash here, guys, here with another video, guys. Yes, another um, Disneyland update here. It's actually pretty exciting, interesting news that we did find out today, guys, here on like the Disney blog. All right, get to this whole Disney news, guys. I want to introduce myself. I am Crash Jer, guys. I am a vlogger here on YouTube. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch. So if you ever want to come and chat and talk to me, guys, live, guys, more than welcome to come to uh, chat with me. I play a lot of games. I play a lot of Minecraft, Call of Duty, Fortnite, I think Star Wars Battlefront 2, uh, a lot of racing games, Gears 5. But if you guys are more than welcome to come chat, you guys ask questions, my links are always down below. I also have a Discord if you guys want to come join the community Discord, guys. We have a really cool, awesome community, guys. We talk about games, networking, and it's a really safe environment for everybody just to come in and chill and hang out and tell us how your day is. Tell us, you know, just talking. Just like literally talking about life and gaming and whatever else in theme parks. There are some people who talk about theme parks. That's me. So if you guys like my content, guys, make sure you guys go get this puppy a like, guys, because it helps me out a lot. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit the stock button because I do post videos every day, if not every other day. Now, I know that there's a lot of gaming content on my channel right now because um, I'm out of a job. This whole lockdown that's going on, the road is going on. So because of that, I do streaming, and then so I post a lot of gaming videos to kind of fill in for everything that I can go out because a lot of places are still closed. And it's just, it's, it's kind of hard to, to commute to a lot of places because of everything with the Rona and stuff. Any interesting news that we did find out today, guys, here on like the Disney blog. And the, uh, the I guess I don't know, but the, the Food and Wine Festival and Disney and Florida is going to continue from July into the fall, which when they opened up on July 17th and all the way into the fall, which is interesting because when the Food and Wine Festival did come out here earlier, and in California, we had like what two weeks of it, I think it was, or a week of it, and then everything shut down and closed. But now they announced that the Food Wine Festival is going to continue over in Florida, Orlando, when they opened up. So that only brings me to mind: Are they going to continue over here as well in California? Which would be awesome, be great. You know, not knowing how long the whole lockdown was going to be, so I ended up using up the last uh, my I think four tickets. I think it was. I did a video. If you guys haven't seen that video, you should look down below in the comments, guys. I'll probably link that video. You guys can check out the last day of Disneyland with the whole wine and food festival. But it's going to be interesting to see them them bringing it back in Florida. How are they going to do it over here in California? Which, I, like I said, that'd be awesome if they brought it back because there's a lot of places that I still want to try that I never got a chance to try. So I wouldn't mind buying some more tickets and to, for the event, whether they add more venues or they keep the same venues. Or, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, how that works out. Did you guys go to the Wine Festival here in California at Disney? If you guys did, leave, leave your, your thoughts and comments down below in the, in the, in the thing. Leave your favorite snack too, your favorite meal that you guys had. I did. I just like a lot of them I, I liked. And some of them I did want to try, but I didn't get a chance to try. Like I said, the park was closing. So I, I got as much as I could in the last day before they shut down. So other Disney news, guys, that's going on right now is the Mickey Not So Scary event over in Florida was canceled. Which... It's sad. I, I I like the videos that people posted. I wish one day I can go there to Florida to go to this event because it looks really fun. I really enjoyed uh, the boogie oogie loogie boogie boogie oogie. Oh my god, I'm saying that wrong. I seen a lot of people's videos for the oogie boogie bash. I didn't get a chance to go because I wasn't too sure I was gonna sell so fast, and so I, I didn't go last year. But I was gonna go this year now. Because the Mickey's Not So Scary being canceled in Florida, makes me wonder, are they gonna cancel the Oogie Boogie Bash here in California? Now, there's nothing posted in there on, on the sites yet. I looked it up, only the fact that Mickey's Not So Scary got canceled. <clears throat> so it's kind of interesting to see if, if they're canceling theirs, I wonder if the Oogie Boogie Bash is gonna cancel theirs. Now, I know also the Star Wars event wasn't, uh, it was, wasn't canceled, it was postponed. But with everything that's going on, it, it just you just never know. I mean, it, it's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. I just want Disney to open already because that's it's got open. It's, it's that time, we've been far away from Disney. Already. So we do know about the whole reservation patches of the wild guys, which is um, interesting. You know, I know all the people out there are saying I don't, they don't like the reservations. Other people say they do. A lot of people, people say that they don't want to go because of what's happening. And then I've been watching a lot of videos also on, on, on like a lot of YouTubers over in, in Florida and making their, their Bush Gardens, San Diego, uh, um, sea road and their universal studios videos and a lot of complaints i've been seeing from people out there saying that no one's wearing masks um universal studios is on top of the game with uh, the whole like cleanliness and getting people but like bush gardens isn't um sea road um isn't as much as either but universal is pretty much on top of the game actually bush gardens on top of the game and sea road was not doing their game in case you guys don't know guys last week uh, orange county did announce that masks are not required to wear in public but today here in california the, the governor of california said masks are required in every city here in california no matter what orange county says so now masks are required to be out in the public out in places now it's like they're they're they're, they're ban hamming that rule and they're making a requirement 
that you have to wear the mask now. So that's it's, it's gonna change. The people are like, oh, I'm gonna go to the theme parks now because I don't have to wear a mask in Orange County. But now the governor of, of California just said today, Thursday, this morning, I got seven, eight in the morning, says masks are required for every city. So because of that, are you guys still willing to go or not go? I mean, if he's requiring everyone to wear a mask, is, is the outbreak the rising? It's not rising, not really too many confirmations. They're saying the quote, Rona, I can't say the word, though they are saying the Rona is rising in cases, but a lot of people are saying it's not rising in cases. So, I mean, what do you do? Do you wear a mask? Do you not wear a mask? And if you don't wear a mask, people say, oh, you, you must be part of that whole manga cap thingy. And so, but I'm asking you guys the question, when the parks open up, will you be going there and not, and not and wear a mask and wear the mask properly? Or will you like not wear the mask properly and ask and wait until an employee comes around and asks you, hey, can you put your mask on? So there you guys go, guys. There's some like, exciting things right there that's going on at Disney. I'm really, like I said, I'm really pumped. I'm really excited for it. That's why I'm talking so fast. I didn't even drink an energy drink today. So we have the wine festival happening in Florida. We have the Mickey Not So Scary being canceled. And uh, the reservations happened yesterday, which is kind of cool. It's kind of a prelim of what they're possibly going to be looking at. So I'm pretty sure you guys seen a lot of YouTubers cover it. I'm not going to cover it too much because everybody who's on top of the game, who's, who's big, and they know what they're talking about, they covered it. So they give like a lot of details. I'm pretty sure you can go find them. I mean, a lot of cool YouTubers discussed it and they talked about it. But I just want to hear, bring up the news about the whole uh, making us a scare being canceled and will uh, Oogie Boogie get canceled. And the wine festival coming to California Venture, um, Venture Park in Orlando, Florida. So if they get it, does that mean we get it too? Because that's gonna, like I said, and when the parks do open on July 17th and they give us here in California the whole wine food festival, that's gonna be pretty amazing. That's gonna be awesome. Like, I, that's like, I get to go back and redo and eat some of those awesome, like, treats and foods that I didn't get a chance to finish. And the ones I did like, and go back and have them again and enjoy them because they're pretty good. Like I said, I did a video on them. If you guys haven't seen that video, you guys should look at that video down below. I know, guys, it's only like a month away now before the, the parks actually open up. Actually, any theme park, because not any theme park has opened up yet, uh, other than uh, City Walk and, and Universal Studios. They opened up. Uh, there's a lot of people there who've been covering that event as well, which is it's pretty cool. It's, it's good to see things open up um, slowly and little. And, of course, the whole Knott's Berry Farm Marketplace, they opened up. They kind of widened the broaden. But um, there's a lot of things, like I said, that are happening. Just like Now, you got to remember now, uh, a lot of these theme parks all put their bids in and to open up in July. Nothing's been confirmed yet by the state of California. They have not said, yes, you're okay to open up. The, the, the July 17th bid for Disneyland to open up and the, the whole July 1st for Universal Studios to open up is only a bid. It's not a confirmation. It's not like, okay, boom, for sure, we're gonna be open that date. It's a bid they put to the city or to the, 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 the government and then now they have to say, okay, yay or nay and so far they haven't given a yay or nay yet so we're gonna see it tomorrow tomorrow's friday so maybe tomorrow or the upcoming weeks we might hear something in the news saying that yes they're approved to open up and so when when they are i'm pretty sure a lot more information they coming up from these theme parks like universe studios and not Bay farm and disneyland you know you know not Bay farm's been quiet i don't know why imagine man's been up talking about it uh, sea Road <clears throat> talked about it. I think Sea Road's open, if not mistaken. And then, of course, like uh, Universal Studios and Disneyland, they've been talking about. But Nuts, you've been quiet. What's going on there, Nuts? What are you? What are you planning? But guys, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. It's a little short video. I just want to give you guys a little update here that I I found out and I read on the website, and I it's, it's exciting to hear what Orlando's doing. I'm just waiting for California over here, man. The Disney blog people, come on, do something. Put some something on there. Give us like like a little taste or something. Give us like little like little niblets. What's going on? What's what's happening? And um, I just hope they don't they really don't cancel o Oogie Boogie. But I'm pretty sure. They are. A lot of events are being canceled. TwitchCon, if you guys are a gamer, you guys know TwitchCon got canceled. So that's in September. Woogie Boogie Bash is in October. So if a lot of places are canceling, I wonder if like Universal Studios is going to cancel Horror Nights as well. Not Scary Farm is going to be canceled. If Disney's canceling Woogie Boogie, I wonder if everyone's going to start following them and that train and be like, you know, they're canceling, they're canceling, they're canceling. And only keeping their parks open for a limited you know, reservation. But who knows? I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Like I said, uh, the government, the, the state government, they still haven't even proved any theme parks to open up yet. So we're still looking into a couple weeks to find out, okay, it's going to happen, not going to happen. But 
it's just it's pretty interesting you guys thanks for watching truly appreciate it. i just want to share this video. quick news for you guys i am crash your guys if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys do give this puppy a thumbs up and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you hit that soccer button because i do post a lot of videos here about my life and it's vlogging and also a lot of gaming if you guys are into gaming i do a lot of gaming how about a lot of streamers out there uh, gain and then um, grow in the community and here and vlogging we do a lot of theme park vlogging just waiting for the theme parks to open up so we can go back out there and start recording again so but they're all a playlist down below you guys can check out our, our theme park vlogs i started theme park vlogging like in 2018 like i said uh, earlier but i'm just excited like I, I got my son gave me this news today i was like what so i looked it up and i was like oh my gosh yeah i gotta go make a video i gotta go tell because this is pretty interesting it's pretty awesome and i hope we get a conversation going down below and you guys give me your thoughts what your thoughts are are you guys excited? Are you guys look forward? Do you guys think the wine festival is going to come to us again? Do you guys think Woogie Woogie's going to be canceled? Uh, let me know if you just look at I truly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good one. And let's go, man. Let's do this. Let's get it on. But thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it.